Howdy folks, Crazy Jason here. And other Jason over here. Welcome back, OJ. Thank you much. Okay, yeah. so we're yeah. sitting out here at the gates of hell. Yeah. And <laughs> what are we doing here you, exactly? You, yeah, you may ask, why are they at another Best Buy? Well, it's, it's they have the Toy Story 3 steel or iron pack. Ah, just actually. like the Beauty and the Beast. Deal. Just like the Beauty and the Beast one. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do that. And I've gotten this uh, obsession with these Star Wars magnets that they have. That and there's like 24 in the set, and uh, I'm trying to get all of them. So and plus, there's. Uh, Supposedly there's a big sale going on now with Blu-rays. Yes, there and, is. Uh, I'm hoping to score an Evil Dead for $9.99. That I was hoping that was going to be here last time. They've got Army of Darkness, they've got uh, Diary of the Dead, they've got Feast, they've got Hellboy, they've got... I'm looking... There's the original Halloween, Carrie. Halloween, god damn it, they don't have fucking Halloween, man. Oh, oh, Halloween 1 is not there. Oh, but score! Yes, yeah, score. Oh, nice. Little score. Nine ninety nine, and there's Bucks. Children of the Corn, man. Yeah, I know, I know. There's a, actually a, a lot, lot of, of people hate Children of the Corn. I don't I actually, know. I actually really like it. It's got some sort of nice atmosphere. The, the Devil's Own. I'd buy that at six ninety nine. Oh, that's actually the mini series. I think this is the original. That's, yeah, they've got so, very cool. People beware. So yeah, some decent deals here. Diary of the Dead is nine ninety nine. If you don't have that one, that one's a great one. Army yeah. of Darkness, uh, nine ninety nine. Monster. Hellboy, yeah. Hollow Man, which I'm tempted yeah. to get because it's that's, a Verhoeven and I've been buying a ton of his shit lately. That's good cheese. The right original there. Omen, $9.99. So, good the stuff. Thing, which one of the greatest of yeah. all time right there. And then we've also got the pre-order bonus for Toy Story 3. Nice. And I'm assuming Iron that pack. Woody's got to be on the back here. Don't yeah, you think? I, I mean, think so. Yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to bet good money. That yeah, that's just a 750 pre-order, and let's face it, we're gonna buy the damn movie anyway. So. And I, I don't know, I was yeah, there's lots four of good titles here. Out on Blu-ray. Blu Blu there's one in currently at the theater. Zombie strippers. Daybreakers is 12.99. Oh, do you have this? Yeah. Yeah, I actually picked that up for five bucks at a pawn shop. This is an excellent score for ten yeah. bucks. Yeah, and Planet Terror is there's Hostel for nine ninety nine. You've been wanting that. Yeah, I've been looking for for these. I don't know. I think I'll wait for the pawn shop though. See so five. What what I'm digging on is this right here. Yeah, yeah. I... Robert England and Jenna Jameson. What more do you need to say right there? Exactly. Do you want one? Do I want one? No shit. Put the, put the, put the, put the. This guy here just tells me, oh, by the way, I was at Costco the other day and they had a Die Hard Steelbook for $6.99. Did you want one? No, fuck, man. No, that's, I'm good. Really. <laughs> I'll pass on that one. And on so, the uh, love hate meter, right we are we are on the love side of Best Buy right it. now. Yeah. yeah, we're loving it. Um, so, yeah, I ended up spending more money than I wanted to, but that's cool. Um, <laughs> this thing's a Best Buy exclusive. It's uh, Spies Like Us and Funny Farm. It's fourteen ninety nine dollars for uh, two movies, one Blu-ray. I love those movies anyway. Yeah, Chevy we were Chase. just discussing Funny Farm, man. This, this is one of those movies that both of us can watch over and yeah. over and over again. And for some reason, I have, like, I didn't pick that up because I got some other stuff, but... I have this really strong desire to see it on Blu-ray. I don't know why, but... And I love Spies Like Us. That one's just great. I mean, you know, what's a dick for? To pee with. Love that. Yeah. It's just great. Then we uh, went ahead and picked up the Toy Story um, pre-order steelbook. And, or Iron Pack, excuse me. And then last but not least, I went ahead and bought the rest of their uh, Star Wars magnets. And... Which, this is the coolest thing. This is yeah. They went ahead and let me have the box, which oh, has that's awesome. the the R2 and the Boba Fett magnet stuck to the outside, just the empty box, but it still looks pretty cool. You know damn what you cool. could do for Halloween, you could fill it with candy. Yeah, that would work. And then there. somebody would steal that off my porch. Right. Okay, so anyway, um, as you could see, they had a ton of Blu-rays in there for 9.99, I think uh, what 11.99, 11.99 and 14.99. Yeah, so really good sales there. Damn, these clouds are killing me. Um, so anyway, I picked up Evil Dead for 10 bucks. Really happy about that. But what I'm ecstatic about is I've been holding off on buying this. It just came out last Tuesday, 
All year long, I've been looking forward to the re release of the Thin Red Line on Blu-ray. God bless Criterion. Um, spine number 536. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, run, don't walk. At least get a, get a hold of the Blu-ray somehow through Netflix or whatever. Um, this is just a brilliant film. And, um, you know, I, I can't wait to, to get this thing home and watch it. Anyway, we're going to head to some pawn shops now. we got to revisit the, uh, the Geno shop, right? Yep, we're going to do that one. So, uh, we'll catch you on the inside. Wow, that's just awesome, man. <laughs> just showing just the, the beauty of nature and it's coming over to your ass <laughs> flipping the bird. <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah. So, here we are, back again. Well, I'm back again. We're, we're at Gino Pawn, actually, uh, easy money pawn and jewelry. Right, and, uh, and uh, I scored the Halloween here last week, so... Yep. Uh, we're going to sift through everything. This may be the last yeah. time. Yeah. And I brought a box so that we have something to move DVDs into so as we go through them. Those people are going to know we're serious. It's it, fucking chaos in yeah. there. Boom! Boom, chuck Yeah, bitches. Yeah. Gino, baby. Open that bastard up. What you see there, buddy? I see George Romero. I see the guy that played Steel. I see Lori Cardill. I see, um... And another one I can't recognize, but... Yeah. Same store we got the signed on one at. Amazing. <laughs> Alright. So, more Geno shit. Check it out. Clyde Barker's Lord of Illusions, signed on the disc, and over here. And. I don't fucking know who it is. We can't figure it out. So if anybody recognizes this signature, hook us up with who you think it is. We'll probably figure it out by then. Yeah, we'll probably figure it out eventually, but uh, on the off chance we don't, help us out. All right, on to the next pawn shop. Okay, so out of that pawn shop, we came away with a couple of cool things, and now we're heading into Hilltop Pawn Shop. Which uh, we're gonna see if they're open, because for some reason all the pawn shops close goddamn five o'clock. Yeah, fucking 5.30. What's the deal? I mean, you know, you'd think that they would realize they could get a lot more business being open for an extra 30 minutes. Just open till 6. And what are you going to do? People get off fucking work at 5 o'clock and... There's... Yeah, you... Pawn shops, for God's sakes. I mean, if anything should be open past 6 or 7 o'clock, it would right. be a pawn shop. Because people need to pawn things to buy crack late at night. Uh, I just don't and whores it. down there at uh, you know, Cleveland. Whores. Yeah. She was a whoa. Okay, so after a quick bite to eat, not being satisfied, not being satisfied with getting uh, more Genos. Um, actually, what that does is it, it fuels. Don't you think it, it yeah. fuels the the it flames? Fuels the hunger. Yeah, the insatiable hunger. So we're gonna hit up the comic book shop, and then we're going to Costco and see what they have. Okay, so we're at the Costco, and their selection has uh, dramatically increased, actually. Uh, Blu-rays, not so much, but what we do have is Die Hard Steelbook for $6.99, which I already have it, but that's a killer deal for anybody that doesn't, like this guy. Me. And then there's the uh, Ray Harryhausen collection that we've got here for 20 bucks, and it's got... Look at the titles. Jason yeah. and Argonauts, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, and The Three Worlds of Gulliver. So at it's, least three yeah. solid titles in there. It is missing the, uh, the rarely seen The Golden Shower of Sinbad. Not, nice one. Okay, so we uh, we returned from our pawn shop Odyssey, and I gotta say it was pretty good. Um, we it was, hit, I uh, think it was better than pretty good. Yeah, we had a couple.
understand. A couple of different okay. ones. So basically we went to uh, a couple of different pawn shops and it just sucks that they closed so early. Um, but at one pawn shop I found this um, VHS 5 from The Firm. And for anybody that doesn't know who The Firm was, it was Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin and uh, Paul Rogers from Bad Company. It was their super group back in the 80s. Kind of a weird little find there. And um, then at um, the, the Gino Pawn Shop, Easy Cash, um, I found uh, the Director's Cut of Hellboy, like three disc. Score. Um, Friday the 13th, Part 6. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Shatner's Raw Nerve, which is a promo disc, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then uh, <laughs> the guy at the checkout counter while he was complaining to me that uh, the Lord of the Rings extended editions he had to have eight dollars for while another employee was saying no no they're just two dollars. Since he was being a jackass he ends up losing money. Yeah the blu rays are five he didn't notice that the hangover was a blu-ray charged me two dollars for it and yeah. all right picked up uh, Salem Witch Trials um, I don't know it just looks like a good story looks fun to me. Picked up Family Guy, the freaking sweet collection, which I never would have bought for more than $2, but it was $2. And I figure at this point I'm just going to have the entire Family Guy Yeah, the like what I'm gunning for, too. Yeah, so. And then I uh, was really happy about this interview with the vampire, which is another one of those titles that I've been wanting to buy for months. Um, but by being patient, scored this for $5 at the Geno shop. Everybody... I know, you know, we keep scoring the Genos. You already saw the video earlier. I know you don't believe us. Well, you, you, may, you may believe us, yeah. but, but these autographed DVDs just keep popping up at this, it's crazy. this same I mean, store. But today we walked in and, um, you, you know, you, you, got that you, first. you found the, that Halloween the other day and we right. thought that was it. Right. But I found this uh, Clyde Barker, Lord of Illusions. And it's signed by, as best we can tell, it's Jordan Martyr. Um, if anybody has a different take on that signature, just let us know. Um, but I found that one right off the bat. It's signed on the disc and on the insert. And then uh, that prompted us to start digging. And then this guy, once again, came out with the motherfucking jackpot. <laughs> That's right. Day of the Dead. There's a... Uh, a lot of inscriptions. It's um, good meeting you, Gino, and it's um, signed by Lori Cardill, who was Sarah. Um, uh, George Romero with his trademark, Stay Scared. Um, the guy that played Steel. The, I'm, and, really, uh, I'm really happy about that one. Yeah, and uh, it just a, uh, not as many signatures as there were on the, um, the, de the, the Dawn of the Dead disc, but honestly, I think this one looks better than that one did. And uh, just amazing that the guy pawned both of his George Romero signatures for next to nothing. They pay 75 cents per movie, so he got 75 cents for... 75 sign. cents for this, come on. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing about the Geno stuff. Um, we, we were thinking that was it like a month ago, yeah. right? Now we're thinking the opposite. I we're think thinking this might be the tip of the iceberg. The reason why I think that is because I just scored uh, Halloween and he just picked up Lord of Illusions and yep. then she brought out from the back Day of the Dead. So I'm thinking we're just now starting to get into it. Yeah. Or at least I'm hoping. At least they're still trickling out of the back room somehow. So, right. And once we found those, we went through pretty much every bin, and we didn't find any more. But that's three in the last week, so well, there's got to be some more yeah, there. I'm heading in the morning to uh, yeah. when they open up to uh, get that Night of the Living Dead and the uh, Carpenter signed Halloween. And yeah, that we're Harris, sure that they have Halloween back there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Uh, once again, thanks, Gino. We really, really appreciate your pawning those discs. Yep. And um, another you, great haul. Another really awesome haul. Yep. Some killer luck has been running our way on this. So uh, that's it for this time on...
Galaki movie.